For many parts of the country, summer is mosquito season. A familiar buzz alone may be enough to make you start scratching. But one company is releasing 20 million mosquitoes into a California neighborhood in the name of science. The people behind the experiment in Fresno hope it actually reduces the mosquito population. Only on CBS This Morning, Maria Villarreal is the first network correspondent to go inside the one-of-a-kind lab in South San Francisco. She learned how it could help scientists fight some of the world's deadliest diseases. It's just after sunrise in Fresno, California, and this van circling a residential neighborhood is making a rather unusual delivery. It's hard to see with the naked eye, but flying out of this tube are thousands of mosquitoes, new additions to the community. Are the mosquitoes going to bother us? Are they going to bite us? But so far, it hasn't been much of a problem. It's not a problem for homeowner Bonnie Smith because despite putting more bugs in the air, the experiment in this van could actually decrease the mosquitoes in her backyard. The only ones we release are male mosquitoes, which don't bite, only the females bite, and the males we're releasing are sterile. So when they mate with the wild female, she'll still produce and lay eggs, but they'll never hatch. Each tray has 3,000 mosquitoes. Linus Upson is running this experiment for Verily, the life sciences corporate cousin of tech powerhouse Google. In total, they're releasing a million mosquitoes a week for 20 weeks this summer. So you are going to release 20 million mosquitoes in the Fresno area. Are neighbors not concerned about this? Once people understand that male mosquitoes don't bite and that if we're successful, we're going to reduce the population of the mosquitoes that do bite them, uh, people are usually thrilled. The wild mosquitoes do more than bite. The breed Verily is targeting Aedes aegypti also spread some of the world's most dangerous diseases, including dengue fever and Zika. If we release enough of them for a long enough period of time, we hope we can eliminate the population of Aedes aegypti mosquitoes near where people live. To do that, Verily has spent millions of dollars building this lab, which breeds, sterilizes, and rears millions of bugs, then sorts and bisects to ensure only the males are released. Producing a million male mosquitoes a week, it's quite a feat. Jody Holman works for a local government-run mosquito control program. They tried a smaller-scale version of this last summer, but only released 800,000 pests. Now partnered on this project with the deep pockets of Google, they're able to multiply that by a factor of 25. We really needed to have the ability to rear the number of males that would be needed to affect control. But partnering with the Google family of companies comes with its own complications. I always have a concern when Google says it's going to do anything. John Simpson of the nonprofit Consumer Watchdog has kept a close eye on Google and its subsidiaries for years. He sees nothing wrong with the science and safety of the Fresno experiment. It's what comes next that concerns him. In the future, if they've got all the proprietary uh, information, you have to meet their terms. And if because of their powerful position, they can essentially dictate those terms, you then end up being at the Verily's mercy. We don't know exactly how we're going to go to market with this as a business. Right now, we're just focused on showing that it can work. If it works, the project could serve as a model for other communities around the world. And even though dengue fever and Zika aren't threatening Fresno, people here don't seem to mind acting as test subjects for technology that could save millions of lives in the future. In a way, it's sort of neat to be a part of it in one small way. Researchers in Fresno are monitoring traps throughout these neighborhoods and are hoping to see a drop in mosquito populations by the end of this summer. For CBS This Morning, Mireya Villarreal, San Francisco. The mosquitoes kill so many people across this planet. Any kind of technology that can help alleviate that. The impact stuff. of malaria, especially among the young. Devastating, absolutely.